and Alex, we are expecting some severe weather. And I think yesterday you even mentioned to me that it was the same system that caused some damage in other places in the country. Same system. It's not going to have the same ingredients that it had in Iowa or even this evening in Arkansas, but we still need to be on guard as we head into Monday. This evening, clouds start to fill in out ahead of this system, and that will keep us warmer. Temperatures staying in the 60s across central Alabama as we head through tonight. So quite warm for this time of year. Temperatures about 20 degrees above average tonight. We're totally dry. No rain across the state of Alabama this evening. But back off to our north and west, this is what triggered those storms in Iowa and has been triggering storms producing tornadoes in northern Arkansas and back into southern Missouri this evening. This makes its way towards us as we head in tomorrow. The surface low here moves to the north. The cold front makes its way towards us as we head into tomorrow. So let's go to the future cast. Totally dry tonight as we get into tomorrow morning. A few showers possible. That cold front starts to push in from our northwest as we head into mid morning by 10 or 11 o'clock. This is starting to push into Marion County and continues to push south and east as we head into the afternoon, approaching places like Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Asheville, Gadsden between about noon and 3 p.m. And this will be a broken line of thunderstorms. That cold front continues to push east by 5 o'clock. This is approaching places like Talladega, Clanton, and then by 7 o'clock, this is pushing south and east of Smith Lake and pushing into far southeastern Alabama away from us as colder air rushes in behind it. As those storms are moving through, unstable air pushing in from the south, fuel for thunderstorms to develop and become stronger, and there will be some spin in the atmosphere as well. Not as much as we'd see in a big severe weather outbreak day, but enough to help keep these storms from collapsing on themselves. They'll stay more organized. So that is driving that weather aware Monday from mid morning into the evening, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Damaging winds and hail, probably the bigger threats, especially this damaging wind threat. The hail threat a little lower than the wind threat and then the tornado threat lower than both of those threats because the low level spin isn't particularly strong with this setup, but there's enough there that we can't rule out a tornado or two. So it's something you should be prepared for as we head into Monday. Make sure you got a way to get warnings like the CBS 42 News app, a NOAA weather radio with fresh batteries in it. We'll keep you up to date on CBS 42 and CBS 42.com as we head through the day on Monday. More rain and cooler weather as we head into the middle of the week and then a serious cold snap as we head into next weekend. A freeze on the way. Once we get past a brief warm up Thursday and Friday, I think both Saturday and Sunday morning we dip below the 32 degree mark.